Two rudders are moving in behind the gate. From the inside out, Laredo Cosmos, Rail Splitter, Private Pennant, Columbus, Hanover, Classical Thunder, Hard Rock and Roll, Smooth Talking Guy, Reign of Power K, and Artful Power. And here they go. Off and trotting, that's Hard Rock and Roll, and Smooth Talking Guy going right out for the early lead. Laredo Cosmos gets away third. Private Pennant Petrots fourth. Racing fifth. Rail Splitter. The end of the turn. Racing sixth. Classical Thunder. Racing up seventh. Reign of Power K. Racing eight. Artful Power. As they race around the turn, go on to the first quarter mark. Columbus Hanover trails the field following a break. Opening quarter 28 and four. The end of the lane. Passing at the end of the first time. Coming to the 3 8 mark. It's Smooth Talking Guy on top, but here comes Laredo Cosmos and Ray Paver trotting right on to the front end. Racing third, hard rock and roll. Racing fourth, Private Pennant, the end of the turn fifth, rail splitter. Going to the halfway point, Classical Thunder is six. Racing seventh, Reign of Power K. Trotting eight, Art Full Power in the trailer remains Columbus Hanover. They're by the half, 59 and three. To the back side and the 5 8 mark. It's Laredo Cosmos, the leader. Smooth talking guy right there. Second, hard rock and roll. Trot's third. Private Pennant is fourth. Racing fifth. Rail splitter. Up and moving on the outside. Artful power. Out comes Rail splitter. Going to the three quarter mark. Three quarters, 130. Around the final turn, Laredo Cosmos with the lead. Smooth talking guy, second. Hard rock and roll, racing third. Closing on the outside, Artful Power fourth. Down the stretch they come. Laredo Cosmos, the leader. On the outside, smooth talking guy, closing in. Laredo Cosmos, smooth talking guy on the outside. Coming to the wire, Laredo. Cosmos, smooth talking guy, second, hard rock and roll, was third, one, 58 and four. Final half, 59 and one, final quarter, 28 and four. Oh, loves these five eighths mile tracks in Pennsylvania. Into the winner's circle, number one, Laredo Cosmos. Ray Paver of Meadowlands. Keith Ross of Bell Fountain, Ohio. Ray Paver's 19th of the season. It's 44th. Stakes, our 44th winning drive of the season. His 20th stakes win. His racing career at the Meadows. Rio Copa Royal Troubadour, Lindy's Donna. A winner in second time in 158 and four. Final half, 59 and one. Final quarter, 28 and four. Jack Paver accepting the trophy, or well, sleeping through the trophy presentation, that is. Ray Paver, lovely wife, accepting the trophy from Tracy Bittner. Keith and Donna Ross, all the way from Bell Fountain, Ohio. Laredo Cosmos, Rio Copa Royal Troubadour, Lindy's Donna, 158 and four, final half, 59 and one, final quarter, 28 and four, and that's three straight in Pennsylvania. Meadows, Pocono, and back to the Meadows. Number one, Laredo Cosmos, $4.40, two sixty and three at 60. Into the winner's circle, John Pavlock's got Ray Paver and owner Keith Ross. Thank you, Roger. Gentlemen, I know New Jersey is a great place to visit, but Pennsylvania seems to be home for this one. Uh, after some bad racing luck last week, he was awfully sharp tonight. Hey, he was. That first break he's made all year, which he just didn't handle the track very well. He wasn't good, but it's pretty good here tonight. He got away in fine order. Third, was it your idea just let the things uh, just happen as they would happen and then come take command in front of the grandstand as you did? Yeah, I just wanted you to let him get out of there, you know, and settle and then hopefully move to the front. Work it. 
Let me have Keith stand in here. Keith, you know, you had to be a tremendous disappointment to go all the way to the big dance. And let's face it, million dollars for the Hamiltonian, that's not the only important thing. It's the greatest trotting race in the world. And you uh, stepped up, you made the payments, you had to be disappointed. But uh, you still must have great faith, given what you've seen here tonight. Oh, I think so. Uh, he just, he showed he was there and belonged there. Uh, the only thing is we had bad racing luck, okay? So it's just one of those things. You know, I've been there twice. To, we got time to go again. That's all that matters. We've seen some awfully good trotting colts here tonight. And uh, and uh, one we heard was not going to go out to the World Trotting Derby. Instead, go to the Yonkers Trot. What are your plans for this one? Uh, that's up to Ray and I. We're just talking. I think we're going to give him a couple weeks off. And then we've got a lot of racing yet. He's eligible for the breeders. He's eligible for matrons. He's eligible quite a bit yet. So, And we got uh, Delaware. We've got uh, Lexington. So we're just... We're just going to give him a week or so, and then we'll go from there. That doesn't work at all. You always come back to Pennsylvania and grab some of the purse money from here. There's nothing wrong with that either. Exactly. Keith, congratulations. And to you, Ray. Loretta Cosmos, winner of the final three-year-old Colt Trot tonight on the Grand Circuit. Gentlemen, uh, we will be back here with the winners tomorrow afternoon. Uh, good evening from the Winner's Circle. And get a good night's sleep.